All right, everyone, we are going to start our cabbage soup. Country Life with Tanya's recipe. So I'm going to just pick off the outside layer, make sure it looks okay. couple of spots on it. We're going to cut those couple of spots off. And then we're going to cut it up. There's one side. <laughs> Here's the other side. I'm just gonna go right, right down like this. Maybe some of this, but not all of it. That's probably all I'm gonna use right there. Then we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna put it in the pan. We're gonna cut it small. Tanya said cut it small. So we're gonna cut it small. And then we're just gonna put it in the pan over here that I have. What you guys are seeing. Let me move you this way. There we go. There's the pan. We're just going to dump it in there. You can cut it whatever size you want. You can cut it smaller than what I'm doing. Um, let me know if you guys have ever made this. Like I said, this is Tanya's recipe, Country Life with Tanya. You guys need to go check out her channel. It's in the link below. I'm making a mess. Now, if you got a bigger family, you can double the recipe. If you got a bigger family, go watch Tanya's. She doubled the recipe. Um, she used a lot more cabbage and a lot more um, burger. Thanks for the recipe, Tanya. Hopefully, we like it. We'll let you know. Well, you'll know by the end of this video if I liked it or not. Hopefully I do. Tanya come down to visit guys. I had such a good time with her. I didn't want her to leave. I cried when she was leaving. I did not want her to leave. Tanya is the sweetest person. I might need a bigger pan. <laughs> or maybe I should have started out with a small dose of this stuff, but that's okay. We're going to do the whole head of lettuce or cabbage. My head of cabbage, guys, was $4. When I told Tanya, she said it's only $1.99 where she lives. I'm like, $4? That's crazy. Or my, I said lettuce, it's cabbage. I think I said lettuce. But, anyways, my head of cabbage was $3.90 something. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, I might need a bigger pan. Because I still got to put burger in here. Maybe not. All right, let me clean up my mess. All right, guys. There it is. Make sure that's dry. Now, I, now the burger, I have a pack of burger, and you're supposed to just break it up and put it in there. So we're gonna try it and see if I have enough space in this pan. Cause this is probably the biggest pan that I have. Hopefully I don't have to do two pans. I do have the Instapot, but this is the way she made it. So I was gonna make it the way she made it. And then she took the burger and she just broke it up in little pieces and she put it all throughout the cabbage. She didn't even cook it, she just put it in here. I don't know if this was her family recipe. Tanya, let us know if this is your family recipe. Um, or if it's something she made up. But supposedly it is really good. Now everybody's got different tastes, but we'll see. It's probably gonna be good. And the only thing she put in it was salt and pepper. She said more pepper than salt. So, and water, of course. So we'll see. She said don't mix it until you put the water in it. You guys have to check out her channel. Okay, so now we're going to put some water in there. All right, we're gonna start out with two cups and see how much that is. She said to put the water up over, we're gonna need a lot more, up over the cabbage. So this is four, makes four cups. We still need more. This is six cups. It's coming up, maybe a little bit more, maybe seven cups or eight cups. Okay, if we use all this, it's gonna be eight, but we'll see. I'm thinking seven cups of water. Now we gotta put this over on medium. Oops, right one, yeah. She said to put it on medium. She said after you get the water in, stir it up. Once it melts down, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Once it melts down, it's supposed to be really good. Now let me put some salt and pepper in there. Let's see, let's put lots of pepper in there. And I know you can put pepper in, you can put pepper in at the end to your taste. But if it cooks with pepper, it's probably gonna be better. I'm gonna put some more. Look at that, I never would have thought of making it like that. I never would have thought of putting raw hamburger in the pan like this. But look at that. All right, so I don't have any salt. My salt shaker's empty. There's a teeny bit. Not a lot. Guess we're using it all. That's all the salt I have. A little bit more pepper before I sneeze. I gotta sneeze. All right, guys. So there it is. Um, just gonna let it cook. I got it on medium. Now my stove, I don't know. I don't know if she cooks with gas or if she cooks with. Um, I can't remember. I think she cooks with electric. But because um, gas stoves seem to cook faster, I think. All right, we're just gonna leave it. 
and um, come back and check it out. And if I need more water as I, as I go, I'll put a little bit in, but I think it'll be okay. So I think I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it and leave the thing like off the edge a little bit. So hopefully it don't overflow. Or maybe I'll just do that. Well, hopefully it don't overflow. It probably won't on medium. All right, guys. So I will see you guys in an hour. I'm going to set my cell phone. All right, everyone. Look, it's only been... Well, we got... I only set it for an hour. And it's at 42, so... 52, 60. It's only been 20 minutes. Look at this. It smells so good. Um, I got to run to the store, so Tyler's going to keep an eye on this for me. But it smells delicious. All right, everyone. We had to run to the store to get some medicine and some other stuff in the house. So I'm just going to give this a quick little stir real quick. Smells pretty good. Alright guys, we'll let that sit just for another 30 minutes and come back out. Spin it. See you in a few. Peace. Alright guys. It's been about two hours. I'm just going to give it a nice good stir here. Turn this down a little bit. Turn it way down actually, let it cook on low, low for a while. Alright. Alright guys, we'll check it here in a little bit. See what it looks like. Looks and smells good so far. All right, everyone. I had to run to the store. Tyler said it's definitely done. Look at that. It smells good. All right, I gotta, I gotta get me a, get me a bite. I look like crap because I've been outside working all day. I'm going to see at the dinner table, but we're going to test it out first. I have to let it cool off. It smells good, but it's not real strong smell. Like what, like I ran to the store and, um, I expected the whole, you know, it to be real strong. Hot. It tastes good, but there's no flavor. Like, there's really no flavor. I should have used beef broth. I don't know. I don't know if I missed something that she did. I had to have missed something that Tanya did. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put some more pepper in it. But I think I'm going to put a little bit of beef flavoring in it. Because I don't feel like this much flavor to it it tastes good um but she said that we might not you know everybody's got different tastes that um we might like it we might not i like cabbage now i think i'll eat it but um i'm gonna doctor it up a little bit tyler will you get me the um 
the beef bullet in and out of the fridge. It's in the drawer. Not that drawer, the other drawer inside. I don't know. What did I miss, Tanya? I had to have missed something. Did I boil the flavor away? Okay, so I have this better than Bullivin. Bullivin? Bullivin. Bullivin. I am going to put some of this in there and stir it up. That's going to make it a beefy flavor. Um, because I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just not our cup of tea. Maybe it's not something that we like, but it tastes really good. It just, to me, the flavor. Maybe I didn't put enough salt and pepper in it. I'm going to point you guys down. I like cabbage. I'm trying to make that piece of um, beef bullivin. You only need a little bit of that beef bullivin. It will um, go a long ways. I must have missed um, maybe a spice or something. I thought she just said salt and pepper. I'm going to make it taste good because I'm going to eat it. It does, like when I, was eat, when I ate it, the texture and everything, it's really... A good texture. It just needed a little bit more flavor to, for me. I feel like for me, and I, you know, this is not everybody, but I feel like for me, I should have used like, like beef broth as my water. It is really too hot right now to even, you know, it's probably better if I let the bowl cool off. It might have tasted, you know, it's hard to taste when your mouth's burning. But let me get some of this. Alright, here we go again. Here we go again. Let's see if I got it, like, if I mix that up enough. It's good. It's better. Oh, I can taste that pepper. I put a lot more pepper in there, too. I'm going to put some more beef stuff in it. For me, it needs more beef. Where's the beef? So, I'm just going to put a little bit more of this in there. And anybody that's used this knows that this is really strong. So, you don't need a ton of it. Maybe I didn't stir it good enough. But, um, I'm going to eat it. It's good. It just needed, to me, it just needed um, more flavor. So maybe next time, or even this time, I could put my own seasonings in it and do more than salt and pepper. Tyler likes to season everything. I feel like sometimes he over seasons, so maybe I'm just used to a lot of seasoning. Or, um, I know she said don't worry about the grease, because um, that's what gives it the, the stuff to flavor. Um, I think my meat was like 7% fat and the rest was not fat. So maybe, maybe I bought the wrong kind of meat or something. I don't know. What did I do wrong, Tanya? <laughs> Let me know what I did wrong. But I'm going to eat it because it, it's good. So all I had to do was doctor it a little bit and put some more seasons. I like flavor. But I'm going to let my bowl cool off a tad. That way, um, I'll really be able to enjoy the flavor and, um, without it just burning my mouth and, you know, sometimes it's hard to enjoy something if it's burning your mouth. Um, hopefully Tyler will eat it. He said, it, he tasted it <laughs> earlier and he said that it needed flavor, but he didn't want to be on camera. He said it needed more flavor. All right, Tyler, come taste it now. Gonna be on camera? I don't even know if he's in the house. All right. So I'm getting a bowl. It looks good, and it was it was simple simple to cook, guys. Um, you seen everything went in the pan, and you just left it for two hours. You came back and stirred it every once in a while. You want to taste it now? 
I put some beef boulevard in it. Oh, it tastes pretty good. I'll taste it again in a little bit. Oh, you're not gonna taste it now? It's alright, I'm gonna get warmed up again. It is warm. It's hot. I'm gonna put it in the bowl so it cools off some. Oh, okay. ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, Alright, guys, I'll see you at the dinner table. Please. Alright, everyone. Tyler, what'd you say? I think it's good. It's good now. Yeah. Alright, so I had to just doctor it up and put our own seasonings in it. Wow, the camera just got really dark. I seen that. Um I just had to put more seasonings in it. Tanya, Tyler said it is good. Um, I guess I didn't season it enough. Uh, I did I did what you said. I thought you just said salt and pepper, so that's all I did. Um, but I just put um, some beef bouillon and um, some more pepper. And Tyler said it's delicious. So let's try it now. It's still hot. It's really good. Um, for those of you who do not like cabbage, I used to never like cabbage. But for those of you who do not like cabbage, it really doesn't even taste like cabbage. It's so soft and mushy. It's like a a better noodle for you, even though it's cabbage. <laughs> a better noodle. Um, I probably could have made a bigger batch with more cabbage. Or, yeah. Because it, it seems like there's more burger than there is cabbage. What do you think? I like it. You like it? You didn't taste it before the um before I doctored it. I hope my liver likes it. Guys, I never got my results back. I was supposed to have it back within twenty four to forty eight hours. I got it done on I don't know, last week. And I went on Thursday and it wasn't ready. I went on Friday and it wasn't ready. Today's Saturday. So now I'm just going to wait till Monday. Um, I don't know what's going on, but certain foods really act up. Give me pain right here under my rib and my right side. And it is my fatty liver. So I hope that it's something that we can repair. Um, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm changing the way I'm eating. You know, I'm still going to eat some things, but, like, I haven't had any soda in five days. Aren't you guys proud of me? Yay! Five days. Um, August 19th is going to be four years that I quit smoking cigarettes. And, um, I need to write down the date five days ago because, um, I haven't had a soda. I did take a little teeny swallow of one of Haley's sodas that she brought home. I opened the the lid and I just took a because I, I just I hadn't had soda in five days. Today's five or six. I think six. Today's the sixth day. Um, and um, it didn't even taste that good. But that one might have been watered down. But it didn't even taste that good. So I really love Sprite or Starry. I like Sprite a lot. But um, I'm determined. I'm not. I'm not. I'm all the the high the high fructose corn syrup I'm trying to cut out. I have this um, thing on my phone. It's an app that tells me things that are good for me and things that are not good for me. And most everything's not good for me. But I am going to um, do my best to eat better. Like last night I just ate chicken breast. I didn't even make nothing to go with it. I just made chicken breast. Um, but I just went to the store and I grabbed some, um, some spinach leaves and some salad leaves. Both of them approved. Both of them was a thumbs up on my app. And um, I'm going to um, just try to eat better. I want to lose weight. I want to fix my liver if possible. I hope it's not too late to fix it. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get it better. I want to lose 40 pounds. I, I, I kept saying 50, but I will be so happy if I lost 40 pounds by this time next year. Hopefully sooner. But I'm going to give myself one year and um, see if I can lose 40 pounds. I am going to start going to the gym probably. Um, I don't know if it's going to be August or September, but we'll see. I don't know. And um, I'm going to be dedicated to it. I want to, I want to build some muscle. I want to tighten up my stomach, and I want to lose a bunch of weight. So 
It would be awesome if I could lose it in six months, but I'm giving myself a year because I don't want to be disappointed. I'm going to take that measuring thing. I already took gross, ugly pictures of me in this, this, um, this outfit. It was, it was a sports bra and, and I can't remember, but I already took some really fat pictures of me. So, um, I'm going to keep that same outfit and that's what I'm going to wear when I, maybe I will do, wouldn't it be cool if, I don't know what I would lose in a month, but if it would be cool if I just put that on and every month took a picture. They're, I mean, like right now I'm ashamed of how I look um, in that outfit. But when I get down to 140 or 150 even, I'll be happy how I look. So um, I'm going to work on myself. I really want to, I, I just want to feel better. They said, the doctor said if I lost a bunch of weight, that I might be able to get off some of my medicines. So we will find out, you know, maybe my exercise is going to give me more, um, I'll be able to get out and do things and I'll be able to meet other people at the gym. And I know I have a treadmill, but sitting here at the house, I just, you know, I don't get on it as much as I should, but um, I'll be able to meet other people and just be around other people. So that's my plan. Hopefully I stick to it, but I'm gonna finish eating. This is really good, Tanya. Um, Country Life with Tanya, guys. Check her out in my, in my um, description below. And um, go subscribe to her channel. She's a good friend of mine. Her and I made a cemetery video. She already posted hers. I haven't even got mine edited. But she already posted hers. And then we made a fun video at her um, the place she rented when she was here. So I... I can't wait to edit that because I know I'm going to start laughing because we laughed so much. It was awesome. I cried when she left. Um, I do want to go see her. I'm not sure when, but I'm going to go see her. So um, I'm going to finish eating. Let me know if you guys make this. Shout out to Tanya for giving me, just for showing me the recipe, recipe and telling me about it. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Bye. Peace. Guys, I just wanted to come back and tell you guys, the more I'm sitting here eating this, it's really good. I kind of made it too spicy. I probably put too much pepper in it now. But I think this would be so good with some chili beans in it or, you know, the white chili beans or even the red chili beans, kidney beans. I think just exactly the way we cooked it, I'll have to add my extra seasonings, um, but I think some chili beans in there would make it even, even better. So, I want to come back and tell you guys that. See you next time.